Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Stefan and in this video I want to give you a full review of the amazing Inkjet HD photo books by Empix. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so and if you like what you see give this video a thumbs up. I don't think I've got any more questions about a single photo book company than Mpix from you guys, emails, comments, all of you were asking me about the quality, what it looks like, whether it's better than the standard photo books and so on. So I finally have these amazing books here and I can talk about them, I can give a full in-depth review. And the reason why it took so long to get these books is because they are only available in the United States. Whoever is watching this from outside the US, you are welcome to watch it, but you will need to use a forwarding company if you want to get the photo book. And that's what I used as well. So you can get a company to ship your books to in the US and they will send it to you outside the United States. But anyway, if you are in the US, then you can obviously get these photo books. Ampix is a US based company and their production is in the US as well, I think in Misery. And they use high quality inkjet printing or gicle printing for their photo books, which is now the new trend for the best quality photo books. For a very long time, I kept saying that Silver Halide is the very best you can get with photo books and photo albums. But now I do realize that inkjet has a little a bit of an advantage over that because there's a bit more sharpness, a bit more clarity and the same rich colors. If I had to choose now for the best quality print, I would probably choose Inkjet and then Silver Halide and press printed photo books. So I've got three books here just so I can show you all the different cover options and paper options and binding options. Now even before going into my detailed review, the one thing I can say right at the beginning of this video is that Empix print quality is definitely either the best that I've seen or in the top three that I've seen and I've got 200 plus photo books from at least 60, 70 companies. Many of them are standard Silver Halide and Inkjet. And even with the Inkjet ones, sometimes on the matte papers, they don't look so great. But this one was absolutely phenomenal. It blew my mind and I'm very, very happy with the print quality of the Signature and the Premium album. The classic one is not Inkjet, so that's a different story. But if you're looking for a best print quality photo book or photo album, go no further because Ampix is going to be your best choice for that when it comes to clarity, color range and dynamic range. When you go onto the website you'll see some gift items and some prints but you'll see the photo book category which if you click on is going to give you three different separated photo book styles or types. They've got the classic photo book, the premium photo book and the signature photo album. So the three books that I have here are the classic and the price for this 8x8 inch book starts at $25 and then I've got the premium which is the same size and for 20 pages this one starts at $45 and the signature album, which is the same size, and again, 20 pages, starts at $159. So that's the kind of price range that you can expect. And obviously the more things you add and the different options you choose, it can get more expensive, but that's the base price for 20 pages. So let's go into my close-up shots and let's talk about the usual sizes, covers, paper, binding, quality, and the editor. Let's talk about the sizes. The classic and the premium come in six sizes, four squares, five by five, eight by eight, 10 by 10, and 12 by 12 inches, one landscape, 11 by 8.5, and one portrait, 11 by 8.5. So you've got one in each uh, aspect ratio or orientation, but you don't have really big ones like 14 by 10 or 16 by 12, and you don't have very small ones for the portrait and landscape, but you've got a fair selection for the square ones. 
The ones here that I have are all 8x8 eight eight inches. The signature albums come in slightly different sizes. They've got five sizes, 8x8, eight 10x10 eight, and 12x12 12 12 square. But the portrait and landscape is actually 12x8 eight and 8x12. Eight so closer to the more traditional uh, actual print sizes. Now let's move on to the cover options. So you've got three main cover options. You've got an image wrap, which looks like that. So it's basically just a printed photo. It's very, very smooth. It's a smooth matte finish and you can personalize it any way you want to. And you've got um, spine text on it as well. The second option is a fabric cover with or without a dust jacket. So if I take off the dust jacket, that's how the fabric cover looks. And the dust jacket, can be a partial dust jacket as you can see it here or it can be a full dust jacket covering the entire book and that's your option and these two covers are available for the classic and the premium photo books for the linen cover you've got quite a few colors to choose from which you can see on the screen now and for the premium they also have a soft cover option which is a slightly cheaper option and in that case it looks exactly the same but it's going to be a soft uh, paperback cover for a lighter project when you get to the signature album that's going to have a beautiful luxury leather cover which is going to be either genuine leather or vegan leather and for each of those you've got quite a few uh, options to choose from. For the linen and leather covers you've got the option to add debossing so stamping on with um, metallic letters which obviously adds some elegance to it. Moving on to the binding, the classic photo book has two binding options and as you can see it doesn't open fully flat and this one is actually a stapled or stitched. Now this one is actually stitched. It is, it's a stitched binding, so the pages are stitched, stab bound uh, at the spine, but you also have the option for a hinged lay flat for the classic book, which basically means that the pages hinge off, but it's not a seamless lay flat option. And the pages are still fairly thin because they are not stuck together like lay flat books. They are printed double-sided. For the premium photo book, you can see it's fully laid flat and it's a seamless lay flat so it runs through both pages and it is stuck together so the two sheets are glued to each other but there's no substrate inserted between the sheets so it's fairly flexible obviously it's not thin but it's not rigid and it's, it doesn't feel very thick like um, a flush mount album. The signature album on the other hand is again completely lay flat as you can see seamless but here there is a substrate inserted between the sheets so it's a lot uh, thicker more rigid and it looks a bit more luxurious and of course the thicker it is the longer it's going to last because there's less chance of it being damaged let's move on to the paper options so in the classic photo book you've got four different papers to choose from there is a basic stock paper which is uncoated you've got a pearly finish which is kind of lustrous you've got linen which has a very nice dense texture and you've got matte as well the one i've got in this photo book is matte book stock and it's a really nice brilliant white paper it's you can see the uncoated texture but if you go for the linen you can get a much denser texture even for the for the entry level photo book if you want the best kind of colors and best dynamic range, try to always go for something that's slightly glossier, like the pearly finish. It's going to give you darker blacks and brighter highlights. For the premium one, you've got semi-gloss, you've got gloss, and you've got matte and you've got deep matte. So four different photographic papers to choose from. And in my premium book, I've got the semi-gloss paper, which I absolutely love. It's the kind of the same as the lustrous photo book paper from the silver halide printers very similar texture but i would say slightly more subtle than a lustrous fuji paper but very similar and the colors looked the best on this one from all of these three books sometimes high gloss especially if you have text on those books can look a little bit less book like and more like an album but the semi gloss treats text really well as well and photos too so again if you want the best colors 
go with the semi-gloss or full gloss. And if you want that kind of artistic look, muted tones, then go with the matte or the deep matte. They're very soft, uh, velvety feel to them. The Signature album has three kinds of papers, the deep matte, gloss and semi-gloss, so it doesn't have the standard matte stock. And here I chose the deep matte, which is so soft and velvety. It's a beautiful paper and the colors look really rich on it despite it being matte. It's not quite as vibrant as the semi-gloss, but obviously it's a different kind of paper, but it looks so much better than other matte prints that I had from different photo book companies, which looked a lot more washed out and muted. Here, I still see a lot of dark and rich blacks and a very vibrant color range. The minimum number of pages you can have is 20 and the maximum is 100 in all of these books. So you can go quite big even with the signature album. Now bear in mind that the thicker the pages, the, the thicker your book is going to be and the spine, but you can keep some of these books in a very nice matching box, which I have here. So this is a linen box and you can put your book inside and keep it sheltered from all kinds of damage. Damage. For the signature album, you also get this nice card which tells you how to care for your book. It says, store your album in a temperature controlled and humidity controlled environment to keep them oh so pretty. Use a soft cloth to remove fingerprints, avoiding solvents or water which could cause damage. Album covers are made of genuine leather. If a small scratch or scarf occurs, a simple leather conditioner can be used on the cover. So it really tells you how to make sure that these books can be kept in their as new shape for as long as possible. So let's come to the most interesting part, the print quality, which is the most exciting about these photo books. Empix, as I said, uses for almost all of their photo books, except for the classic, inkjet high quality HD printing. And what that means is the dots are so small in these HD prints that it basically looks like a continuous stone. You can't really tell that it's a half tone print or that it's a digital print like with most press printed photo books because the definition is much higher. So you get a lot more dots in a square range. And also the printers use seven colors, so you can get a much wider range of colors and a lot more accurate colors than you would get with press printed photo books. And as I said in the intro, this is the best you can go with photo books. Now I've seen a lot of photo books and this inkjet print is definitely the best quality that I've seen, or let me say in the top three, it's very hard for me to select one from two, 300 photo books, but there are only so many inkjet printed photo books at the moment for consumers, not for professional photographers and from those ones it really stands out because the papers are really good that they print on and also the color range and dynamics was really good even on the matte paper. So if you're looking for that amazing print quality go no further because Empix is definitely not going to disappoint you. If you choose the cheaper classic entry level photo book from the range, then the print quality is going to be press printed. So nowhere near as nice as the inkjet or gicle print um, as they call it in the art sector. Now here you can see a comparison of the standard print and the inkjet print. So one is the classic and the other one is the inkjet print. And you can see how much richer the colors are and how, um, more, how much more detail you get in the inkjet print. The final thing to talk about is the editor. They have an online editor, which is a little bit more unusual than the other ones that I've used in the past. It's very easy to, to learn it. It takes a few minutes to kind of familiarize yourself with the features. You have to click on the pages and then select the template instead of dragging things onto the page, which is um, a bit unusual, but still they have a lot of different templates you can choose and layouts and you can mix and match, shuffle around and so on. Of course, you can add text and all of that, but it's an online editor, so you can only edit it with a live internet connection. And as far as I'm aware, they do not accept PDFs for printing, but um, if I'm wrong, I will put a correction in the bottom, but on the website, I couldn't find any information about PDF photo books so that you can't send in a PDF that you exported from InDesign or 
Lightroom and get them to print it. However, what you can do is, as I said with many other photo book companies, you can export your pages from a third party editor as a full page or double page spread JPEG and insert it as a double page spread photo. And that way you can bypass the editor and you can create your own designs outside the MPEX online editor. The uh, production was very, very quick. I think just a couple of days, one or two days. And also if you are in the US, I think about $35 is free shipping. And if you want some premium or faster shipping, they've got different uh, levels of shipping speed and priority things to choose from. And again, if you are outside the US, but you still really want to get these photo books because you were so convinced by my review, then you can use forwarding companies in the US who can provide you with a fake address that you have that you can get the book sent to. And it's a warehouse somewhere in the US and they can send it over to Europe or the rest of the world. It was quite a long review, but I wanted to get through all the details about the books because as I said, I got so many questions about these before. I'm very happy to have these in my collection and I'm even happier to tell you that yes, do go for these photo books. They are really good and the print quality is absolutely phenomenal in the inkjet prints. Regarding the covers, the ones they offer are really nice covers. It's not the widest selection of covers like with uh, some other wedding specialist photo book companies. You can get a lot more uh, cover options like fusion covers and crystal cover and acrylic cover and metal covers and aluminium and all of that. Here you have the leather, the linen and the image wrap which you know gives you a nice option from basic to something very luxurious. But as you can see, everything about the company kind of radiates the idea of minimalism and simplicity and understated because you don't have very fancy glitzy things in it, neither in the designs inside and neither on the cover options. So elegant, simple and easy to choose from. Sometimes when you have 65 different covers to choose from, it can be very difficult to, to make the choice, but here they kind of separated them and they give you the best when it comes to the signature album. If you have any more questions about MPix, leave them in the comments. Thank you very much for watching and as always, subscribe for more.